Hey everyone, I'm Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and as we know, memory prices are still high. I feel like I pretty much say that in every video, but it's still the case and I really do feel sorry for you guys as consumers. With that in mind though, it's not stopping memory manufacturers from trying to innovate and bring something new and different to the table. Of course, that generally comes with RGB in the name. And that's what we've actually got here today. We've got the Patriot Viper RGB dual channel DDR4 memory kits. Now, Patriot are a brand in their own right. Viper is kind of their sub gaming brand. So we're actually expecting something a little bit different from this compared to the memory kits that we may have tested over the last couple of weeks. So I guess let's just jump in and take a look, see what it's like. This particular memory comes in black or white. And as you can see, we've got the white kit here today. And one thing I will stress is it is really white. It's not some sort of horrid off white. It's really crisp and it just looks fantastic. Now, the styling is probably a little bit different to what most people are used to from other memory manufacturers. It actually has more of an extreme kind of gaming vibe to it, which is what you'd expect under the Viper branding. The main thing you will notice is the snake, and especially the snake eyes, where the RGB colors kind of have to have that ability to pass through it. And I've got to admit, we had a lot of fun, especially with green. It just kind of seemed to, I don't know, work? On the memory itself, there's five fully customizable lighting zones per module. And through the Viper software that Patriot supply, there's a lot of things you can do, and I mean a lot. You can control the color and the brightness of each lighting zone, or you can choose between a number of different preset lighting patterns. And of course, you can vary their speed and brightness. By default, the memory will display a pleasing rainbow of colors, but it will remember your last zone by zone lighting color choices, which is quite a nice little touch and something that I've never seen before. It's also worth noting that you can combine the preset lighting patterns that the software provides you with your own unique custom styles. This allows you to take customization just that one step further and something that we've never really seen on any memory in the past. So it's really nice to see that. RGB aside, I've got to admit this memory looks absolutely fantastic. As you can see, we had it in a test bench, but it will look absolutely fantastic in any chassis. Each module has a thick aluminium heat spreader, and it's actually quite light, weighing in at only 52 grams a module. Now, it is worth noting that even though they do feel quite light, it doesn't compromise the quality of the modules at all. Due to the aluminium heat spreaders, they are slightly larger than standard memory, but not enough to cause installation issues. The Patriot Viper kits are compatible with both the latest Intel and AMD platforms. And it's also worth noting that even though they have their own software, they are compatible with all major brand lighting softwares for synchronized lighting with your motherboard, graphics cards, and any other compatible components. One thing I do want to say is out of all the RGB memory kits that I've tested as of late, which has been a lot, this is probably my favorite. It just looks absolutely fantastic. And I love the fact that Patriot have really sort of gone that one step further with the software customization options. So well done Patriot. One thing you may also notice is Patriot have been a little bit quiet as of late, but I guess for a very good reason, they've been busy building, you know, memory kits like this. So it's nice to see Patriot back on full form and doing what they do best. As you may notice, we actually have four modules here because that comprises of two dual channel kits, effectively making a quad channel kit, because they are only sold in 16 gig capacities, two times eight gig modules. They sell them in speeds of 2,666 megahertz, all the way up to a whopping 4,133 megahertz. And as you can see today, we have two 3,200 megahertz kits. Timings are pretty tight at 16, 18, 18, 36, and they do operate at a pretty standard 1.3 volts. And of course, like most memory these days, you get a limited lifetime warranty. When attempting to overclock the memory from its stock 3200 megahertz speeds, sadly, we was only able to reach 3333. No matter what we tried, it didn't matter whether we increased the voltages or slackened off the timings. Sadly, we just couldn't get past that barrier of 3333. But it is worth noting that was at stock timings and stock voltages. So now let's take a look at our benchmarks and see how it performs at both stock and overclock.
So I guess the big question is, what do I personally think of it? Well, in all honesty, when I first got it, I have to admit it did look a bit gimmicky. You have this whole kind of viper theme going on, the snake eyes, but then I turned it on and, well, simply, wow. You can see for yourself as you have throughout this whole video. It simply looks amazing. And with the sheer amount of customization options, I can't really fault it at all for its lighting effects. It just seems to stand out just that little bit better than some of the competitors on the market. It's good performance too, 3200 megahertz, and retailing for around £198.99 in the UK, it's not a bad price considering what you actually get for your money. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and if you are looking for RGB memory, maybe this is going to be one that you consider. It's definitely going to be one that I'm going to be using in a lot more builds in the very near future, so be sure to keep an eye out on that. Until next time guys, you know what to do, smash that like button, comment below, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.